It's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wadworth Brewery and it's a bottle of their Swordfish Rum Infused Ale coming in at 5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the silver bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'm looking forward to this one. I've had some nice beers from Wadworth. They were kind enough to send me their range of beers to review. Of course, we are an independent reviewing channel on YouTube. Um, just because the brewer sent me the beer doesn't mean I have to like it. Um, all brewery, well, I'd say all breweries. Um, not all breweries kind of understand that. I've had one or two skirmishes over the years. Um, a London brewery recently was like, can you please take that review down? I was like, whoa, only if you send me more beer so I can replace the review that you didn't like with, with what you want to send me. Otherwise it stays up. I won't name any names. It wasn't the big London brewery. It wasn't, it wasn't Fuller's. Um, it was a smaller kind of craft microbrewery, if you like. Uh, one to two finger, white head. It, it looks, it's the colour of rum. Most definitely a lovely mahogany, deep amber colour. Good levels of carbonation. You can just see the carbonation there moving through the glass. I don't think it's a bottle condition beard. You can see that it's quite clear, even though it's a dark colour. Let's get the aroma. Whoa, yeah, this is, you almost, I almost want to open the kitchen drawer and get my knife and fork out. It's just, it smells a bit like a meal. Good, chewy, biscuity, bready malts. Nutty. Touch of rum. It's September today. It's, it's the middle. It's the middle of it's September today. It's September all month. Um, it's September, the middle of September, and it's quite cold. I'm hanging on. I'm still got my shorts on, but I've got cold hands. It, it, it's the first day, I'd say, where it's just cooled off a bit. The, wind, the summer's gone. Um, it's cooling down. Just feel a bit of a chill on the shoulders there. Um, but I'm hanging on, t-shirt and shorts still. I'm not gonna give up on, on summer just yet. Um, I like the freedom of, of, of loose clothing. But I just feel like this is gonna help me. This is gonna help my day. This is gonna get me through this slightly cold patch we're going through. We're heading into winter. We're heading into these lovely warming ale kind of season. It smells good, it smells heartwarming, it smells, it smells lovely. Let's dive in, cheers. Oh yes. Oh, blimey. Put that down, I need my hands. Stone the crows! Stone the crows, what a wonderful beard. It, it's exactly what I want. Cold hands, heartwarming, lovely, tasty brew. <coughs> Pardon me. Mmm. There's raisin, there's plum, there's fig, there's prune, biscuity malts, freshly baked bread. There's an element of nuttiness coming through. Yes, you get that kind of fruity rum flavour in it as well. And a nice, subtle, hot bitterness coming on the back end. It's, it's a little sweet to begin with. All those bready, nutty, biscuity malts, and then the finish of that lovely, lovely kind of 
tingle of, of, of bitterness. It's not overly done, it's, it's very subtle, but it's very balanced. It's, it's a very balanced beer. Well done, Wadsworth. I, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I bought a bottle years ago. Um, I, I reviewed 6X, which I like. It's not a bad beer. And I then went off and I was in my local supermarket and I picked up, for some reason, they were a pound a bottle. I picked up a couple of bottles of Bishop's Tipple. And it, it just threw me, it just threw me kind of off the scent of Wadsworth Brewery. I don't know if it was a bad batch. Actually, I do know it was a bad batch because I have since just recently reviewed Bishop's Tipple and it was a lovely brew. So, so I picked up a few bottles of a bad batch. Didn't enjoy the beer at all. We're probably looking back at 2012, so about five years ago. And I've not really gone back to Wadsworth until, um, this is the last beer that, that I have from them. Um, so, um, Thank you for sending the range, Wadworth. And I want to say thank you to uh, Danny Champkin for, for, for sending me the beers. Um, I've known Danny for his, from his time at Brains. Um, he brewed a, a lime lager at Brains at one point. Um, it went quite well. It was quite nice. Quite a nice brew. And um, yeah, then he's, he's made his way over to Wadsworth. I think he still lives in Wales. I think he, he, he maybe lives down there during the week and then comes back on the weekend. Um, it's, it's about a two hour drive. I know this because my family, some of my, my wife's family are from, from Wiltshire, from Salisbury in Wiltshire. So we passed the brewery on the way down to visit him family. Um, but yeah, it's... I'm glad I've kind of reassociated myself with Wadsworth. I'm, I'm glad I've given them, I mean, of course, you can't judge a whole brewery by one batch of beer. That would be completely ridiculous. Um, but it just put me off. And there were so many other things going on back then. You know, there were so many other craft brewers and, and the, the whole market was booming. And I'm glad I've got finally got round to reviewing their whole range. So if you're looking to see, uh, if you're a fan of Wadsworth beers and if, if you're looking to kind of check out reviews of their other beers, check it out on the channel. Uh, have a look at the little kind of upload button on the right hand side and you'll be able to search through. Just put in Wadsworth and you'll be able to see all my different reviews of the Wadsworth beers. It's lovely, it really is. A nice autumn heartwarming beer that you could enjoy also in the winter and the spring. I'm gonna rate it. Nice lacing on the glass, nice head, not spun it up too much so the beer's kept its head all the way down as well as we've been drinking it. Yeah it's a lovely, lovely brew. Wadworth Swordfish, rum infused ale, 5% ABV. Let's give it a rating. I actually, I actually like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, what a beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.